Hey guys, I just wanted to announce our very first t-shirt deal from Artwork Tee. Maybe you've been to a place or even an event where you wanted or even expected to see a certain burb come and perform for you, but for whatever reason, it couldn't happen. Well, now you can say to that event, hey, where's the burb? But by proudly displaying our Where's the Burb t-shirt and let everyone around you know you'd like a little bit more burb in your life. The shirts come in all sizes and colors and the company is owned right here in the furry fandom because we like to support furry businesses. Also, a portion of the proceeds will be donated to charity, so it helps everyone. This is a limited run t-shirt, so it'll only be sold until July. July 1st before it disappears forever. So go snag one from our friends at Artwork T. The link is in the description down below and enjoy the video. Welcome back to Old Bird Gaming. My name is Tu and I am the Old Bird back with Perception. Today we are back in this house and it apparently is the same house but it, it, we've gone back in time. We're in a different time period now. And uh, it yeah, I think maybe this is a thing where we've entered a different story. This may be a game that tells several different stories and hopefully puts them together, but we're going to find out. Tap. Tap, tap. A tap at a tap. So we're going to go out here. And tap it. Strange music for such a house. I don't know if I like it. It doesn't really fit. What's in here? Any, anything? No, no, no. Oh, there's something up here. Listen to me, Boogans. Any... Oh. We're back in the kitchen. Never mind. I thought we were actually going somewhere. What's up? There's a door here. Downstairs it is. What hell waits us down here? And now we're at a corner. A what carnival. What the fuck is going on with this place? Ah, uh, I think what's the fuck going on with you? Because maybe you're hallucinating or something. I mean, this don't look normal to me. Yeah, you're in the house and... With trees and a carnival. Well... Shouldn't have taken that last tab of acid, should you? You chivalrous man, you. Betty. Don't you dare spend your last nickel on another throw. Save your strength for writing poetry, Shakespeare. Now hand me the baseball. I'm winning you that, Teddy. Who is Betty? Last time, in the last... <laughs> it was... Wasn't it Felicia? I asked Serge for his autograph. And then his phone number. I wrote it right on the ball. Uh, um... I don't know what that means. All I know is that boom. Jean? What? Where? Jean, rise and shine, soldier. Your Betty Bird's made your favorite sausage and biscuits. Betty, okay, Jean. Who if Jean? Oh, we're going over here. Okay. Will this open now? Was it closed before? Is there something in here? Oh, I will open. Better open now. Wait, I smell. Is that breakfast? What are you? Oh, you're the skipper from Gilligan's Island. Well, only you have a beard. So you smell breakfast. I think you're definitely hallucinating. Oh, that is a. That is a big table. Holy crap, look at that dining table. Man, I want one like that. So I can sit at one end. With nobody else there and be lonely. <laughs> Shut up. I don't like your noise. What? Oh, God, what happened to him? What's going on? Jean. <laughs> You've barely touched your plate, my love. Go on, have some more. Your body needs the vitality for action. Can she see him? I don't know. Now, sweetheart, don't you fret. I'll find that gun lickety split. No soldier worth his salt ought to carry those shoddy government issued pistols. Plastic handles? <laughs> Give me checkered walnut any day. Checkered walnut, yes, definitely. Okay. I got this. Last time I just had to figure out what happened to Felicia. This time I need to find that gun. Easy. Yep. Not a problem. It's easy. <clears throat> 
We don't have a problem with this. It's not like we're running through a house that's haunted and has ghosts running around trying to eat off our faces. No, that's not a problem. We don't have to have, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, how, what is... Oh. It's an satanic altar to America. Yes, okay. That's a little bit weird, a little bit much. Where are we? Oh, don't you start those noises. I know what that means. That means you hear me. Where do I go? What do I do? Okay, I gotta go in. I need to find stairs. Because that's obviously upstairs. So I need to- I need to find some stairs that go up. Do these do such a thing? These don't even open. Well, fuck them. Somebody didn't give them the proper education. Oh yeah, here's the room with- Alright. Ugh. Little bit lost here, uh... Just give me a minute to run around and figure out what the fuck. Oh, I found- What is that? Gotta find the source of that. That's Morse code. I simply must find that gun. I, I. Oh. Oh, what's that? What's this over here? Found another thing. I found a thing, guys. Hang on. I'm sure it's not death or anything. No. It's probably a cookie. Oatmeal raisin. They're amazing. I'm gonna need to get up in that attic. Oh. Guess I'll have to find something to pull that door down. Okay, so the gun's over here. Well. Oh, I'm certainly trying to keep busy, dear. You should see how tidy my stitching has become. But I need more. I'm not the putter around type, you know. Come, let me show you what I've been studying. What exactly have you been studying? Whatever it is, it's down there. Do you open now? I've noticed some doors will open after certain events happen. Stop whispering at me, I don't care. I just don't. What do we got? Nah. Let's go into the door under the stairs. That can't be a bad place for anybody. There's no monsters under here. What? Wait. Where am I? This is not under the stairs. The, what? What? Mode pass. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. English. Anglais. He's asking for Real a password. Pass. Come on. Maybe Delphi can help. Delphi, can you help? Moot a pass Password. Multipass. <sighs> Lilu Dallas multipass. I'm gonna get Sherlocky, Cass. So I need to find a password somewhere. To get into this door. Well. Okay. We're just gonna take a lovely investigative stroll through this house of hell and find our selves was this was this where we were before I don't remember it being anything like that maybe I'm wrong no it was like that I was just being stupid okay so we go in here what is this what are you dearest Betty when I was a child the house unsettled me a bit too it's always been a creaky, morose place with too many moths, but that's all. No voices had ever spoken to me, no visions ever assaulted my senses. The only ghosts I've encountered are out here overseas. But enough morbid talk. Your loving husband, Jean. Well, aren't you supposed to go on to something then? I mean, you say no more morbid, morbid talk. The end? That you're supposed to bring up another subject or... Oh, for heaven's sake, what is that gun? Hi. What were you, what are you looking at? The box. Fucked. Of course. 
Friendly Eyes app. B okay. Bokeh. I'll try it. I don't know what it is. Connecting to a live community user. Whatever they are, they're hey, as and they're friendly. Nice to meet you. I'm Nick. Just started using this app. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, happy to help. Just waiting for the image to come through. <clears throat> okay, there it is. Looks like a lockbox. Oh, yeah, there's a little latch on the side there. Kind of hard to notice. Once you flip that, it should open. I'll be in your contacts now, so hit me back whenever. Okay. Mm. What? Hey! You were not a statue. You were pretending the whole time. Stupid bird. Oh, there's that. There's that. There's that leaky radiator. Still, ooh. Is she going to nursing school now? Nursing school? Uh, well, it looks like... Whoa! No, it doesn't look like she's in nursing school. It looks like she's a nurse. Looks like she set up a... A place for wounded in her house. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Betty's a nurse, and... Seems like, you know, Betty is interested in the war effort, trying to help, right? All is good. Uh, what do I... What is this? I just used my ESP. Oh. We have a little... Oh, here we are. Here. And God said, uh, Let thine dicks be of length. And thine boobs be plentiful. The lights just went out, I can't. Alright. What is that? Shut up. I can't get in. I don't think I want to get in. I mean, what happens? I pull that back and there's going to be some monster in there. Screw that. Oh. Okay. Connecting to a live community user. Hi. Again. Hello. I've got cat sitting for friends, so I'll be here all day. Well, your life sounds wonderful. Coming in now. Yikes. Um, someone wrote the word Durham over and over on this mirror. Looks like it's written in lipstick. Durham. At least I hope that's lipstick. <laughs> uh, I need to get out more. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think so. Cat sitting. Who in the world honestly believes that a cat needs sitted with? They can take care of themselves. Where do I go? Okay, so that Durham. Oh, a note. I found a note. Let's see, Daddy. I hope your dear old friend can help a gal out. Come on, Corporal Roger Del Rey. I'm counting on you. Oh. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Jean Martin, my dear, I remember your father well and am forever in debt to his many sacrifices in the name of freedom. He was a frank man, so you'll forgive me for being frank when I say that he'd roll over in his grave if he knew I'd put his sweet girl in the line of duty. What? Father. Father would be proud of me. Back to the drawing board. So, okay. Yeah, it sounds like she wants... That can't be good. Whoa! What is this and why is that noise? We have an air raid siren in the house? Help me. The house is warning me. It's telling me. What is going I on? I to be the one to save you. Oh, yee. I don't know what this is. Did something blow- Did something blow up? In the house? Did I fart too hard again? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Chipotle! I had Chipotle and I just wrecked this entire wing of the house. It happens. You know it happens. I couldn't help it. Crap. You don't belong over there. I do. 
When I find that gun, I am going over there. And there will be hell to pay! Felicia was oh. paranoid about her baby. Is the house making Betty paranoid about what's happening to Jean overseas? I don't think so. Because honestly, if if you have a loved one that goes overseas to fight a war, paranoia is not abnormal. Of course you're going to be paranoid. You're going to be sitting up day and night wondering what's happening to him. That's just normal dead dead. So Betty wants to go. Betty wants to go to the front line. She wants to go to war. She wants to help and I guess be a nurse. Oh, wait. Delphi, text to speech. Chantal. Chantal. Maybe this would work at the door. Uh, okay. Now we know what goes in the door, so. Another note. Aha, the wasps. Boy, I'd love to slip into the cockpit of a twin beach. Hmm, thank you for your interest in the Women Air Force Service Pilots. Unfortunately, all our WASPs must have their pilot's licenses issued before the start of the war. Well, yeah. Well, that's just foolish. The, I'm a fast learner and... Uh, oh. Uh, no use crying over spilt milk. Once more onto the breach. I, I sympathize with you, Betty. I really, really do, but... No, that one's... If, if you're going to be a pilot, you kind of need to know how to fly a plane. You kind of really do. Why, wall? Wall in my face! Suddenly! Alright. I'm gonna go... back to the door... under the stairs! That shouldn't be there! It should not be there. I wonder if it's the sex room. It's probably the sex room. Yes. Yes, you're very, you're very helpful. Because I can see a little bit better when you do that. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, whoa, um, 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 um. I am not going to tell you where I am. Oh. Oh. That was... That fucking gave me chills. Every time that thing pops up and says something, that freaks me out. Oh. I hope this song isn't copyrighted. Alright, I, I think... I think the coast is clear. At least I hope it is. Well, you shut up. I know you gave me light before, but that song gets annoying really fast. Okay, so back we- Okay. No boogin. This is where we ran into the boogin last time. No more you. I don't know what you are, but you're scary as shit. Okay, here we go. Here we are. Chantal, remember? What saith you? Chantal. Oh. 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 Is this a speakeasy or something? Like a little personal speakeasy? Whoa. Okay. This is. Stop that. Stop. So don't make. Make. But, but I... Whoa. Oh, this is the sex room! You getting some ghost nookie? You got a dead guy getting ghost nookie. I understand the stress is a war puts on a man, Gene, so don't get all bent out of shape. Take whatever comfort you need. I'm sorry I haven't found the gun yet, but I'll get it to you no matter what. I'm coming. Just you wait. Uh, all right. So we're still looking for the gun. Well, we know where it is. We just got to get it. Wait, we got to get something 
to open the door with. To open the attic door. Which... Oh, don't make that noise at me. Don't you do it. Are we going back over here? Yeah, I know you're listening to me. So is it, is it a thing where once that thing shows up, then it's listening to you? And if you... You know what? Now, Mother, stowaway is such a harsh word. Where are you? I know. Oh. Father always said if... The, I know. Father always said that the cargo holds are never policed. I... Yes. All right. I promise. No, you do not need to come here. No, you do not need to come here. It's just... Ever since I found Father's gun, I... You're really so desperate to get over the there. Gun. Oh, she did find the gun. Why the hell am I still here? Well, I don't know why you're here in the first place, but I am curious about something. All right. All right, ghost. Making a lot of noise. A lot of fucking noise. What are you going to do about it? You going to come get me? Oh, yes, he is. Okay. Okay. Just... Just checking. I was just checking. I just wanted to see if it'll actually come after me if I do make too much noise, and they will. Now we know. Do not piss off the ghosty ghost. We won't do that. God, he sounds terrible. You need a lozenge? I think you need a lozenge. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go into that. So we, we only get so many taps before... Ghosty McGhost tits goes nuts and wants us killed. I'll we'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, we're going. Is this what was. Oh, I know this room. It's so crazy. It's the same house, but different stuff in different times. From the office of John Treebook. Oh, oh, yes, the fellow from the local recruitment office. I'm surely they'll have something for me to do overseas. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Martin, we appreciate your numerous requests to be placed in the field, but believe me when I say the most action you'd see is from behind a desk. Ah. Uh. Excuse me? Ah. Uh. Well, I'm sure you're a top-notch typist, so why don't you come down to the boss typing? I wonder what an itchy trigger finger would do to a girl's word per minute. Oh, cheer up. Betty, you'll get there yet. I feel so sorry for her. She's trying so hard to be part of the war effort, but she's just confronted with a lot of, well, basically, that era of misogyny. Which, that really was misogyny, but... Then... Can I tap you on the head? Tap. Well, didn't do much. Oh. That's not creepy one little bit. I'm just going to head right over there, why don't I? Hey, you settle down. You settle down. I don't like uppity dead people, okay? You're dead, you lay down. Do your job, lay down, don't move ever again, that's your job. When you're dead. You just chill. I don't need dead people who have an active lifestyle. What? Whoa! Uh... Okay, then. What was... Th you really love these dusty old tomes, don't you? We never read many books, just listened to father's war stories. Made me want to go out on an adventure of my own. Are they enough, Jean? Your books, do they make you feel alive? Huh. I don't think so. They're all more sensible than grown up. Oh, that song is. Oh, listen to that. Oh yeah, them them them's my jams. Ugh. What are you gonna do, piano? You're gonna do something. I knew you were gonna do something. I knew it. Women's Army Auxiliary Corps, you're my last hope. Oh. 
While we are always eager for more women's army auxiliary uh, corps, we are it's another... unable to offer you. Uh. Malarkey. Yeah. Fine. Let's see what I can do at home. At the very, very least. She's dedicated, I'll give her that. Oh, she oh, really. Now. What a shame. What a stupid. Shame. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Should have given her a rifle and put her on the front lines to die like any other man on the field. I believe in that. Uh, I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Where are we going? Oh, we're supposed to be going over there, but... I'm going in here. Oh, another note. Dear Betty, thank you for your enthusiasm about organizing a neighborhood watch. I'm afraid your location puts you at a disadvantage. And you're all alone up there. God, they won't let her do nothing. I'm sure a nice girl like you could certainly help out at the women's club bake <laughs> sales downtown. Oh no. <sighs> no, I won't. I, I won't be deterred. I really Perhaps feel sorry I for Betty. Again to Roger. He might listen to reason. I didn't so much feel sorry for Felicia. I think she was just crazy, but I feel sorry for Betty. What do we got going on here? What are... Oh, isn't that pleasant? What is that, like a doll with a... a deer head on it? Yeah, you're, you're not... you're pretty. You're so pretty. I love you. Now, let me know the first time I can get a tongue kiss out of you. Yes, sir, Bobskers. Let's see here. Oh, scan it. Delphi. Text to speech. I was wrong. These are my jams. These are my jams. Uh. Thought I heard a voice in there. Uh... Behind you. Did it say behind you? Oh! I don't wanna... I don't wanna... What have we got? It's gone! The thing is gone. I'm sorry what I said about what I said about the tongue kiss. I didn't mean it. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Hey, hello. Mmm. I don't want anything to do with you. Okay, we're going, we're... What was that? I don't know. I don't care. I don't know. I'm leaving. Getting the balls out of here. Oh. Okay, so hang on. That means that something I need is in this room. Because it's telling me to go... Yeah. What's here? Sandbags! I don't like sandbags! Piss me off! Okay. What is that? Betty, 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 Betty. We don't need anyone else to run the switchboards. Whoa! How about this? Be a doll and take a few photos. Betty, I hoped you kicked his ass right dead in there. Band. I hope you busted him right in the chops, right then and there. At night when I kneel 
sure to say my prayers, I rest my elbows on the hope chest you gave me on my 18th birthday. We're going to make a family someday, you and me, you'd said. Where is that? There it is. There it is. Oh! Inside that chest are our dreams, Jean. And keeping them safe on our end. So you do your duty over there and we'll be right as rain soon enough. Well. I am coming for you. I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. I've already been in here. I know there's a... Wait a minute! This was not an- this was not outside. This was a closet. Is this fucking Narnia? Will I be able to see Aslan soon? And I- I will never have to ever go back, ever? Because there are talking animals? I doubt it! Why are you crying? Nothing is that bad! I'm gonna find out. I will find out. Oh, the door. Okay, well, I'm not going back that way. I will find out what's wrong with you. Wait. Why does it still sound like I'm in the house? You hear that? Is, is that, am I reading too much into that? Is it just a game screw up or does it mean something? I'm on ground. But that is clearly the sound of footsteps walking on a wooden floor. Hold on just a mm -hmm. little longer, Jean. Oh, I know no. this isn't real, but the pain sure is. Oh. I keep hearing a German man's whisper in the wind. After months of trying to decipher something, anything, I heard the word Bosch. Bosch. Forest. Little elbow grease at the library turned up a German dictionary. Bosch means forest. Uh, yeah. I am coming for you. <clears throat> I'm coming. I'm coming for you, Jean. Pick up barn key. Whoa, what are you? No, you're not. No, you're not. You ain't coming for. Oh, God. Let me in. Oh. What? 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 I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. I, I went into a mausoleum and now I'm in a barn. Tell you what, guys. I have no idea what we are. The story is fascinating. I love it. It's beautiful. This is a scary game. Uh, we're definitely going to come back to it, but we're going to do it in the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and we will meet again in the next emanation. Until then!